Hello and welcome to the Superintendent's Perspective. I'm Lisa Yala with Edinburgh CISD Public Relations, and I'm joined by Dr. Mario Salinas, Superintendent of Schools and Assistant Superintendent of Support Services, Dr. Anthony Garza. And today we're talking about facilities and construction projects that are going on throughout the district. So Dr. Salinas, fill us in a little bit on some of the different things that we've got. Right, and, and I'm gonna ask uh, Dr. Mm -hmm. Garza to, to get me some of the, to review some of the details, but I, what I can tell you is we, we are uh, con uh, uh, projects under construction or mm -hmm. recently finished co construction projects or various phases of, um, of uh, projects either in design or, or either construction or getting close to near final. We have probably over $130 million worth of, of uh, construction projects for, for, um, in the district. All of them almost uh, very directly, um, very, very directly uh, tied to to students to mm -hmm. news and uh, Dr. Garza can 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 review some of those uh, projects. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for having me on the show, Dr. Yes. Salinas. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll get started with the collegiate high school this week. The school board approved the general contractor mm -hmm. to begin building the school, mm -hmm. and that was at a cost of twenty six million dollars. Mm -hmm. And the nice part about this is that the district is going to pay half of that, thirteen million, and UTRGV will pay the other. 13 million. Uh, we're hoping to break ground in the next two weeks, mm -hmm. and we're looking to do a beautiful groundbreaking ceremony and bring over all the kids from the current collegiate to come over and celebrate. It's going to be hard to find a facility like that. Every child on that campus uh, has, has uh, one goal in mind, that to go to college. Yes. Um, and, and we're training, we're going to teach the, uh, the programs in, in demand fields like teaching, mm -hmm. Uh, children who want to become teachers can 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 go there. Uh, they can be engineered, all kinds of engineering, electrical, mm -hmm. mechanical, civil, structural, etc. Mm -hmm. Health professions, yes. you know, health professions is wide open. Right. A lot of different fields there. Uh, computer science. Mm -hmm. So we are very excited uh, with this new program. We already started this year. We have the first cohort group of 225 students, uh, and we're excited. We yeah. we we hired. Um, a contractor this week, mm -hmm. and we hope to break ground and get it done within 12 to 15 months. So we're yeah, excited about that. It is that. very exciting, and the location is very, I mean, it's really awesome and ideal. We're at the corner, we're going to build at the corner of Freddy Gonzalez and the frontage of Highway 281. Wow. Right off the highway, it's mm -hmm. going to be a, a sight for yes. the people to see. It, it's a tremendous partnership, and you mentioned it. Mm -hmm. The college, UTRGV, is paying half of it. I mean, where, right. when, where have you heard? of some partnership like that where yeah. the college pays half of the high school. Yeah. yeah. That's, the only way, that's the only way we could have afforded it to go to a partnership like that. And hopefully our students graduate from the school with two years of college college toward a Bachelor of Science and go right into UTRGV and, and, and get a degree within two years and hopefully some of them will be go to medical school, some of them will get master's degrees, et cetera. I mean, mm -hmm. You mentioned, I mean, this is exactly what they mm -hmm. are honed in to right. do. And right now, mm -hmm. we've got that cohort of ninth and 10th grade. Mm -hmm. And then next year. And one, of the, one, of our, um, one of our goals for this Collegian High School is to have, for it to be a reflection of our demographics. Yes. And our demographics indicate that students in Edinburgh CISD, generally speaking, 80% mm -hmm. of our students are economically disadvantaged, according to TA. Right. At this high school, 80% of our children are economically disadvantaged. What a coincidence, right? How about that? Yeah. It's now we the inclusivity. students from all four high schools. Yes. Equal it's, it's an awesome project. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot of other projects underway. Uh -huh. One of them is we're going to put in new LED lights at Flores Stadium. Uh, we, we're about to finish football season, mm -hmm. so we, we're hiring uh, the engineers to get the design completed. So as soon as we finish football season, We'll get those LED lights up, and these are so they can be up to standard with UIL specifications. Mm -hmm. And also, from what I understand, these are going to be those lights that that, that have features like dancing lights right. really? during a touchdown or introduction. Yeah, different be flashing around. The new lights, uh, you know, the new up and coming lights. We did some of those similar lights this past year with the baseball fields, softball fields. Uh, the year before, the economy East practice field. So, uh, upgrading the, the lights that we have. Uh, we're not doing the piers. We're, we're only doing the lighting system, but. Uh, everything new, you know, up, up to date. So, so looking forward to that. You wow. know, and, and the brightness of, of these LED lights. Uh, we have a beautiful turf, as you know. Yes. We have a beautiful turf, and now with these these lights, we're very excited to uh, to get lighting there. The other part of that equation, we're also going to 
uh, uh, install a new jumbotron. Oh, yes, that's going to be the, we the have fans new, have a big experience going. Our, our jumbotron is is roughly ten years old from okay. when when the turf came in. I remember the jumbotron came in, and it struggles sometimes, right? The lights, yeah. it's, it's taking a beating yeah, with the jumbotron weather. Jumbotron and sound system. And uh -huh. sound system. And sound system. So oh, wow. next year, our community can look forward to to brighter lights mm -hmm. and, and better sound. A bigger jump, one of the biggest uh, jumbotrons uh, in the valley. How Not the biggest, that? but one of. Wow. Yeah. So that's going to be an awesome experience when they go, when we have any kind it's of... It's going to be better. It's going to uh, be better. The other field mm -hmm. uh, lighting that we're going to do is at Brewster. We're going to Brewster. Um, so you know Brewster's out there in the country mm -hmm. in San Manuel. And they don't have any lights. Right. And, and they play and football, football game. And, and football in, and track field. And the football, mm -hmm. track, soccer. So when they play a game, from what I understand, when it gets dark, whoever's winning is a winner. <laughs> that's right. So right. it's long overdue. Mm -hmm. We're installing lights, uh, stadium lights at Brewster, and we're, we're excited about that too. Yeah. That also, we hired uh, the engineers to start that design uh, this week, and, and hopefully, hopefully, what, by spring break maybe we can get lights out there? That'll hopefully. make a big hopefully. difference for them. That'll be that, awesome. We're excited for yeah. the, these, these projects. Absolutely. Now, mm -hmm. we also have um, other, you know, talk about athletics, gym additions and, and improvements going on as well. We are upgrading. 14 elementary gyms. Okay. Over the past years, we were upgrading one to two gyms per year. But when you got 31 elementaries, it's going to take a long time for it to get to your school. Right. But we're doing all 14 this year. The school board said no more phasing it in. We have the money to do them all. So this year, we're going to do 14 gyms uh, at those elementaries that haven't been upgraded. Um, these gyms are going to have a bunch of nice features. They're going to have a coach's office because they don't have one. They're going to have a, a staff bathroom. They're going to have student bathrooms and a storage facility. New air conditioning systems. Oh, New, awesome. New flooring. Mm -hmm. they, these gyms are more than gyms. They're like classrooms. Wow. Yeah. They're like these. classrooms. They're like the library. They're used mm -hmm. all the time. That's true. Uh, That's true. So the, uh, we, we got half of our gyms renovated, and then the board said, you know what, just renovate the rest of them and let's get them done and because they're heavily used. Yes. You know, uh, they're heavily used, and we also, uh, during the, uh, we we uh, uh, lend them to the mm -hmm. Parks and Rec Department when, for their basketball programs also. Sure. Many of these, those teams use our, our gyms, um, but they're really nice, really nice gyms, and, and uh, we're, our, our principals are excited to, to get these new facilities uh, for their children. Mm -hmm. Wow. Really of, of our 31 elementaries, we've upgraded approximately 17 gyms already. Mm -hmm. So 17 are really state of the art, yeah. but we still have these 14. They're just four walls. No. They're old school gyms. Yeah. And so these upgrades are, are long overdue. Long sure. overdue. Yeah. And just uh, like the light at Boosterland. Yeah. <laughs> these, these gyms are long overdue. That's right. Yeah. And that'll be done within the year, you think? Or will it be in like two years? Or when we is that time We should get them all done by okay. next summer. How by the time school starts? We should be uh, starting eight of them okay. here by December, January. Mm -hmm. And then the other six... In the I, middle I believe of the we hired five, five architectural firms to design this, so to speed it up. Oh, okay. And we intend to hire multiple construction firms yeah. as well to, so to get them all done and hopefully get them done by the time school starts next year. Okay. Yes, all of them should be done by next mm -hmm. school year. Wow. You know, and all these things, all these projects, they're, they're good for our community yes. because there's many millions of dollars that go into these projects. Those That, that money, when it trickles down, from from the uh, for, through the economy, mm -hmm. it it, it uh, one they say trickle down economic. They tell you one dollar when it trickles through the system to the through the through the economic uh, system, mm -hmm. one dollar turns into six. So these are good for the economy, good, good for the for the local businesses, good for our community. Yes, you know, to to have these kind of dollars uh, floating around uh, uh, through the system. Absolutely, yeah. mm -hmm. and we've been. That it's awesome that we have these kind of projects. And mm -hmm. another project that we've got coming up is the Edinburgh North High, I guess, Kitchen and Cafeteria. That's another one. We're starting that like yeah. as we speak. Yes, wow. that's a three million dollar project. Uh, mm -hmm. Again, another long overdue. Edinburgh North is one of the largest schools on enrollment. It is the largest. Twenty seven hundred yeah. plus it students, is the My and uh, that cafeteria was mm -hmm. built. Back in 1991, when the school opened, and, and Dr. Zalin, you were principal there. Yeah, it's still wow. the same size the same cafeteria place. when you were there, and and it's mm -hmm. housing so many kids. So we're gonna roughly double the capacity of that cafeteria for those kids. Oh, that offer a lot of new features. I'm sure they're gonna they, love that. They they should be getting started 
this week. Yeah. You know, as far as the the construction of that cafeteria, so uh, yeah, long again, long wow. overdue. Wow, that's uh, a lot. And then, of course, uh, at Dr. Garza, the big one, the mm -hmm. Kate Facility Center, the Career and Technology Facility, just mm -hmm. north of, of this place. Our Career and Technical Education Center is probably about 60% done, I would say. Mm -hmm. uh, it should be done by the end of the year. That's a 100,000 square foot facility. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a $23 million project, mm -hmm. and it's coming out beautifully. We've been walking it out there mm -hmm. with our hard hats, right. and the walls are up, they're painting. Mm -hmm. uh, State of what the kind art. of programs are we gonna teach you? That's gonna be uh, Ms. Lozano's CTE programs. <laughs> I know they got an automotive shop, they got welding, mm -hmm. they've got audiovisual. Um, diesel cosmetology, diesel mm -hmm. barber shop, mm -hmm. barbering, barbering, right. the yep. uh, computer science, they have Cyber plumbing, security. electricity, mm -hmm. EMT, party, firefighting, yep. uh, and others, uh, oh. auto mechanics. Yep. Uh, so yes, and because a lot of students don't do not go to college. That's right. And this should and expand right. go to college, what we, we currently options. offer. Because right and now, construction is one of them. And obviously, yeah. just construction this projects. is a, mm -hmm. a huge reflection of why this particular, mm -hmm. you know, the CTE program is so, or CTE center is so important because construction's on there. Yeah. Yeah. That's one of the things mm -hmm. they do welding, all of that. Welders, electricians, mm -hmm. plumbers, yeah. construction. I mean, yeah. these are high demand, high that quality. The minute you graduate, you got a job. Uh, and a lot making mm -hmm. good money. Good money. You know, we have these vacancies here in our organization. Mm -hmm. We have mechanics vacancies. We have plumbing vacancies. We have electrician vacancies. We have carpenter vacancies that we've had all year long because private industry pays more. That's right. You know, it, and, that we, we don't, and we pay 18, 19, 20, 21, $25 an hour. It's still mm -hmm. hard to compete. To, to compete with private industry sometimes. Wow. My yeah. goodness. Mm -hmm. Well, and after that, we've got, uh, well, what we've already completed, actually, is the turf at the different... That, that turned out to be a beautiful thing. Yes. Uh, I've been to all four of them. They're beautiful mm -hmm. fields. They're used all the time. I passed through, I went to pick up what my son at one of the high schools last, yesterday, late, mm -hmm. and I saw the middle school uh, girls' soccer teams yeah. uh, at, the, at the school. They were playing a soccer game. I mean, everybody used them. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful fields. You're not having to worry about watering the field anymore. You're not having to worry about holes from the sprinkler heads, you know, uh, rotating around, you know. So, again, just limiting the injury factor. But uh, the biggest thing to me is just we're able to get on it every day, and, and it's a big, big uh, plus for us. It, it will, they've been well received. The band uses yeah, them. The, band. the high school sports use them. The middle school uh, sporting teams use them. I mean, that turned out to be a... Great huge investment investment. We, yeah. We've had a lot of rain lately, and this artificial turf, you know, mm -hmm. is holding up, and, and that's what we wanted. That's what it was all about, because kids play on a muddy field, and it's unusable for the next mm -hmm. person and the next right. group. Uh -huh. But now, uh, with all four, and they're sharing with the band, just like mm -hmm. you said. Mm -hmm. The band's getting out there. And the middle school. And, and the middle, middle school. schools. Mm -hmm. How about that? Well, mm -hmm. now, we also have uh, a number of HVAC projects coming up. We've well, got... over the map, and we probably can talk about that at the <laughs> next show, because <laughs> yes, it, we have them everywhere. <laughs> yes, Those H that's true. HVAC projects. Yeah. And we can continue this discussion of mm -hmm. uh, because we got through half of, of yeah. the list uh, at the at next week. Yes, mm -hmm. yes sir. absolutely. Mm -hmm. And like you we'll continue this uh, discussion next week. There's just too many projects. We're doing mm -hmm. great, going bang gangbusters in the district, mm -hmm. and that's terrific. So thank yeah. you all for joining us uh, on this week's Superintendent's Perspective. Um, and as always, we hope you stay healthy and stay safe.